This video will help you with measuring volume. To measure the volume of a liquid, you are using a tool called a graduated cylinder. The graduated cylinder has a scale on the side. This scale counts by ones or point fives. The bigger lines represent the ones and the smaller lines represent point five. I'm going to pour my liquid into my graduated cylinder. I am then going to squat down to eye level to read the volume. I would read the volume as 16. That is how you measure the volume of a liquid. To measure the volume of a regular shaped object, you need to have a square, rectangular, or cube-shaped object. You need to have a ruler. When we measure, we will be using the metric side. That's not the side with inches. It will have centimeters and millimeters. To measure the length, measure across. The length would be exactly 10 centimeters. To measure the height, measure how tall the object is. This would be 5.2. To measure the width, measure how wide the object is. This would be 3.6. I would then multiply those three numbers together to find the volume of my regularly shaped object. To measure the volume of an irregularly shaped object, such as a round object or something that does not have the shape of a cube, a square, or a rectangle, I would first Take a graduated cylinder. I need to make sure there is enough water in the graduated cylinder to cover the object, which there is. I would first measure the amount of water in the graduated cylinder before I put the object in. This currently has 16 milliliters of water. I know it is milliliters because at the top it has ml. I then place the object inside the graduated cylinder. The object will displace or move out of the way the amount of water, the amount of space that it takes up. In this case, I now read my new volume, which would be exactly 17. I subtract the original volume, which was 16, from this new volume, which is 17, that tells me that the volume of the object is exactly one milliliter. 